Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to achieve various sticky effects with your header. So you have a header set up with Elementor Pro and watch what happens when I scroll through my page. You can see that the header changes its background color and also its height. And then the menu items within the header also change their color and then also the icon changes its color and then we are also displaying an additional item when the header turns sticky. This is all possible with CSS. So in this video we will discuss how to add various sticky effects to our sticky header and there are two methods to do this like I said before it can be done easily with CSS and then there is also a free plugin. In this video, I will show both of them. We have already done a couple of sticky header videos on the channel. You can check them out. I will also try to leave them in the description. Or you can check out various playlists. They will be usually in customize your website playlist. Anyway, let's get into it and see how it's done. First things first, we are not going to design the header. It's a simple header. So there are four columns in it. The first one is for the logo. The second one has my nav menu. And the third column will have my search bar. And the fourth column will have my buy now button. So that's how I made this header. The first way of adding sticky effects to your Elementor Pro header is by using a free plugin called sticky effects. So search for sticky effects in the WordPress repository. I'll also leave a link to this in the description. So it's this one. It's called sticky headers for sticky header effects for Elementor. Make sure you install and activate it. And once you do, if you already have a page open, you can reload it or if you didn't, you can open up a new header template and in advanced tab, you can find the sticky header effects column. So you can click on that, then you can enable the effects that you want. You can also enable these effects on desktop, tablet or mobile. You can remove either of them. So you can remove the sticky effects on mobile for example and the scroll distance indicates after how much distance you want the sticky effects to take place. You can give a random number, 60 pixels. So once the user scrolls through 60 pixels, you can enable sticky effects and you can make the initial header transparent. And then you can also make the sticky header background a different color. So let me pick this one. It may not be visible in the Elementor preview area. So you can click on this eye icon and click on preview and that will show the exact preview of the changes that we make in here. So you can also pick a bottom color. Let's disable this for, for instance. We'll also disable shrink. So we just have a transparent header with a background. So after 60 pixels, it will have this background. I'll update this. The preview will also be updated automatically or you can click on preview and watch what happens as I scroll through. You can see that the header changes its background color. But if you notice closely, the header changes its background color, but the initial background color is not transparent. Well, that's because the setting that we made in the style tab is overriding this particular motion FX setting. So you can simply clear out the background color from here. And now the header turns transparent. If I update this, that's also visible in the preview. As you can see here, initially the header is transparent because I can clearly see that the background is the same as the background of the body and when I scroll through, the header has a color. But the problem with this is that the, it we cannot change the color of the menu items within, the logo within or we cannot apply any conditional logics to the items within that particular header. Well, how do we do that? That can be quite easily done using CSS which I'll show in a bit. So let's go back to our advanced tab and in the sticky header, other than making it transparent and choosing a color on scroll, you can also choose a border for this header. If you choose that, you can also specify a width for that particular border. It will basically appear at the bottom of your header. I don't want that. You can also shrink the header when the header turns sticky. So initially my header has a height of 90 pixels. You can see that when I go to layout tab, it has a height of 90 pixels and using this motion effects setting, I'll just make the shrinked header height to 60 pixels 
I'll also shrink the logo to 40 pixels. I don't know the initial height of the logo, but I'll just shrink it to 40 pixels. I'll update this and you can watch these effects in action. So watch what happens when I scroll through. You can see that the header shrinks in size, but it's clearly visible when we have a background for our header. Uh, so I'll just bring the background color back. I'll choose the white background for my header. I'll update it again. Now you can see the header will shrink in its color. Also the logo shrinks. This is my logo and watch what happens as I scroll through. It shrinks in size. Yeah, I cannot see it. It's just a dummy logo, but you can put your logo in here and make it work. So that's how you add sticky header effects using the free sticky header effects plugin. Well, but that's not enough because we can change the background on scroll, but we cannot change the color of the items in here or we cannot hide or show any item as we make the header sticky. Well, how do we do that? That can be quite easily done using CSS. The first method by using the free plugin has its own limitations. It can only do certain things, but not the things that you want. So I've disabled the sticky header effects. You can also remove the plugin. You can simply toggle the switch off. How do we deal with this? With Well, it can be quite easily done using CSS. And there's one more thing, thing to note. Whenever you add effects to your header using CSS or using this plugin, always click on the eye icon and click the preview button. Only then you'll see all the effects in action. Sometimes the preview gets buggy and you won't see the accurate preview. So you always load up the preview and then test all the effects that you have achieved using either the plugin or CSS. When the header turns sticky, there's a class being added to this particular section. Well, that happens to any element that turns sticky. It's uh, basically a feature of Elementor Pro. So it basically adds a class to any section, column or a widget that turns sticky. Let me show you that. I'll just click on inspect element on this particular section. So this is the section or this is my whole section. It's now showing me the mobile preview, but anyway, it's kind of screwed up. Don't worry. Just focus on the class name here. As I scroll through, you can see that there is a class called Elementor Sticky FX. When I scroll back, you won't see the Elementor Sticky FX class. That's because it's added only when we scroll through. So we'll basically use the same class to target it. I'll click on the section and unlike other elements, this is the class within this particular section itself. Since we're making this section itself sticky, the CSS code will look like selector dot elementor sticky FX, but not selector space sticky FX. I've just commented this CSS code out. I'll remove the comments and I'll explain what it is. I'll remove this as well. Now this is my whole CSS code. I'll remove this extra brace. I've already showed this while explaining the transparent sticky header with logo scrolling, scrolling effect. Well, you just say selector dot without any space dot elementor sticky FX and then you target the elements that you want. So let's get to the background itself. So initially we don't have any background or we'll just settle with the background that's achieved using the style tab of Elementor. So we're not saying anything. And when you say selector dot Elementor sticky FX, you're basically saying when the header turns sticky and within the flower braces, you'll include all your code. So within here, I've said, or I've set a background to a particular color. Let's also remove the remaining code so that you'll understand the rest of the code better. I'll remove this code as well. So now it just says transition. I've already explained CSS transitions in another video. So when, when you're changing a property value from one value to another, instead of changing the property value, suddenly you can say transition and then specify all the properties that you want the transition to have. And then uh, when you change the state of an element, basically you can change state of an element in different ways. So on hover, you can say selector colon hover, and then you can include the code. So that would actually change the state of the particular section when you hover over it, or it, in other words, when you hover over it, you'll do something. And, and by doing so, you can apply different transitions. Here we're just referring to a different class name of the same element. Don't worry much about it. We're basically doing a CSS transition for this particular section. So we're saying 
you need to change the background and i've also set the height if the property doesn't work properly it's probably because an important tag is used and at times you may have to use this important tag if it's working without the important tag exclamation important tag you can remove that totally if it's not just add this important tag and it will surely work also to make this work in motion effects you need to have sticky turned on it can be top or bottom so that's when these effects will be applied so i'll just click on update i'll go to my preview i'll scroll through and you can now see that the header background changes smoothly because of the transition that we've added i've already explained css transitions in another video i'll leave a link to that so don't worry about that okay now that we've changed the background color of the header the question here is how do you change the background or the, or the color of these menu elements menu elements are basically links within unordered lists these are basically links right so when you click on them they're basically taken to a particular page you can also right click and inspect element it will show the type of element it will show you that it's a a element which stands for link so this a is the html tag of this particular link element or each of the link elements so in order to target the nav menu elements you can simply say selector space a or if you want to target the elements when the header turns sticky you just say selector dot elementor sticky effects space a so it will target all the links within the sticky header in other words it's targeting the nav menu when it turns sticky right so this is the universal code that you need to have before reaching this particular link so for links i'll also add a comment for this i'll just say for links and icons i'll explain what it is so i'll just copy this initial thing which is selector dot elementor sticky effects so within that i just want to target the links which have an html tag of a and to target elements by their html tag you just say the name of the element in this case it's a link or basically they're all links so we just say a here so i just set this code and in my preview when i scroll through the links don't change their color well that's because they're being overridden because of something called important so you just add exclamation important when something is not working the targeting is right but something else is overriding this particular property i'll update it and now you can see when the header turns sticky all the links will have the white color that we specified right so i'll just add a comment here saying for links and icons you can see that i have a search icon and the html tag for that is i you can also in the preview you can right click and inspect element when you click on the search bar it will show you the html tag is i so how do you target that when the turns sticky the same way in which you did the links i also want the icon to have the same color so instead of typing this whole thing and saying i I can simply add a comma and I can copy the whole thing again. I can paste it after comma before the flower braces and I'll change a to i. So we are saying selector dot elementor sticky effects space i. So it will target both the links and also the icons within this sticky header. I'll update it again. The preview loads. and now the icon changes its color too so it was initially blue when the header turns sticky the icon changes its color okay now we have the button i want the button to be shown only when the header turns sticky well how do you do that the same way you did with these things and the class for elementor button is dot elementor button we have done that in the elementor button tutorial so it's in order to target elements by tag names you just say tag names to target them by class names you add a dot before them so it's dot elementor hyphen button this will target all the buttons within the sticky elements so i'll just show the button when the header turns sticky and also we need to hide it when the header is normal right so i'll say toggle button toggle button visibility so 
how do you show the button or when how do you hide the button when the header is normal so when the header is normal the code for that is just selected and within selector you need to target elementor button so it's this one i'll share the whole code in the description you don't have to write a single thing i'm just explaining things for you so there is a property called display it can have block or hidden and there are other properties which are advanced you just need to be worried about this so you can say display none when you say that the button will not be shown when the header is normal it will only be shown when the header turns sticky i'll click on update again let's test that out so initially i don't see my button as i scroll through it turns sticky also the height of the header changes right you can add a transition for height as well so you can we have already added a transition for height there is a list of properties that you can animate so only for them you can add transitions and before transition also make sure you had all the prefixes such as moz transition just to make them work in all the browsers so the values remain same so the values will be similar only the prefixes change so do that for opera so it's o transition for webkit it's webkit here and for ms if there's one just do ms transition as well anyway the standard code will work with on all the latest versions or all three versions of major browsers so selector this is for changing background right we are changing background and transition so this particular code is for changing background and adding transitions to all the properties this particular code is to change the color of the links and also the icon which is the search bar and this is to toggle visibility of the button so initially we'll say display none so the button won't be visible but when the header turns sticky we are saying display block and that's the reason why we see the button when the header turns sticky right so that's a neat way to add call to action or show call to action buttons on demand you can also go or take a step further and also change the color of the button or you can basically design anything so how do you do that now this code is targeting the button or this particular elementor button when the header turns sticky so within this you can add a background i'll just paste the same background i'll take the background color from here copy it paste it hopefully that would work if it doesn't we'll add an important tag here just like that the button's background is also changed let me change that to blue update it so we're basically also changing the button background when the header turns sticky you can also change the color within the button so text color within the button has a property of color maybe uh, something like that we need to add important tag as well now it will work i can see the gray color of the button so this list goes on and on but i think these particular properties should be enough you can also scroll or uh, basically scale the logo using the same similar css transition i've explained that in another video you can check out the sticky header videos on the channel to get a more brief idea about this but we did pretty much everything just by adding a class name and targeting these elements when the header turns sticky i've clearly explained what each segment of code does i'll share this code in the description so the first method is by using the free plugin called sticky header fx and the second method is by pure css it's really fast and it's really amazing you don't even have to install a plugin for this and also one more thing make sure the sub menu items have a proper visible background color in sticky mode and non sticky mode so you must be able to see the sub menu items when the header turns sticky and when it's normal that can be adjusted in the elementor settings you can click on the nav menu settings of the elementor nav menu widget and then you can simply customize the drop down settings so that's how you add various effects to your sticky header you can basically also show or hide any element it need not be elementor button if it's any other element than elementor button so uh, usually it's a button over here if you want to show or hide the icon well you do the same thing since we just want to show or hide the icon you just take this code separately i'll say a toggle icon you first need to target the icon and then within css display none so when the header turns sticky 
the icon won't be visible anymore just like that so you'll just show the buy now button when the header turns to key and when it's normal you'll show the search bar so the possibilities are endless but i'll just stop here if you want more or if you want to check out various other things do ping them if you want to add special effects you can do quite a lot of them but you can do so much ju with just few lines of css code this code will be in the description make sure you check that out if you're new to the channel subscribe to it if you didn't already i'm karthik from wp algorithm also we have a new channel called wp algorithm that will teach things that design school doesn't cover such as plugins tips tricks strategies and a lot more also i'll leave a link to that channel in the description catch you in the next video peace